The pasture is dry, grass is gone, and your cattle still need to gain weight. What now? Today, we'll uncover the best alternative feeds to keep your herd healthy and growing, and one option that could double your weight gain even without a single blade of grass. Welcome, fellow cattle producers, to Biggest Bulls and Cow. We've all been there, staring at a field that looks more like a desert than a pasture, wondering how to get our animals through the season. Whether it's a harsh winter, a surprise drought, or you've simply grazed a pasture down, the challenge is the same. How do you provide quality nutrition when nature isn't cooperating? The answer isn't just about finding something for them to eat, it's about understanding what your cattle truly need. Think of it like this. You can't build a strong house with just one material. You need a foundation, walls, and a roof. For cattle, their nutritional house is built on three pillars, fiber, energy, and protein. Get this balance wrong, and you're not just wasting money on feed, you could be harming your herd. Let's start with the foundation, fiber. This is what keeps their rumen, that amazing fermentation vat in their gut, healthy and functioning. When grass is gone, the most common substitute is, of course, hay. But here's the first major mistake many producers make. They assume all hay is the same. It is not. You have grass hays, like Timothy, Brome, or Bermuda, which are excellent sources of fiber, the bulk that keeps everything moving. Then you have legume hays, like alfalfa or clover. These are different. They are much higher in protein and calcium. Think of grass hay as the dependable daily meal and alfalfa as a rich, powerful supplement. Feeding straight alfalfa to cattle that aren't used to it can cause bloat, a serious and sometimes fatal condition. The best practice? Get your hay tested. A simple lab test can tell you its exact protein and energy content, so you're not just guessing. It's the single most effective way to know what you're really feeding. Another fantastic fiber source is silage. This is forage, usually corn or sorghum, that's been chopped and fermented. It's incredibly palatable for cattle and packed with energy. But there's a catch, and it's a big one. Silage must be packed and sealed perfectly. If oxygen gets in, it will spoil, creating mold and losing all its nutritional value. It's an incredible feed, but one that requires careful management. Have you ever had a silage pit go bad? It's a painful and expensive lesson. Now, let's talk about the second pillar, energy. This is the fuel for growth, for weight gain, for producing milk, and for staying warm in the cold. Fiber provides some energy, but when you need to put on pounds, you need concentrates. This is where grains come in. Corn is the king of energy. It's dense, it's effective, and cattle love it. Barley and oats are also fantastic options, with barley being very similar to corn, and oats being a bit safer and higher in fiber. But here is without a doubt the most dangerous mistake a producer can make when grass runs out. They see their cattle are thin, so they suddenly dump a large amount of corn in the trough. This can cause acute acidosis. It happens when the sudden rush of starch ferments too quickly in the rumen, causing the pH to plummet. The animal's stomach becomes acidic, it goes off feed, gets severe diarrhea, and in the worst cases, it can be fatal. And the terrible part is, it's completely avoidable. The rule is simple. Introduce grains slowly. Start with just a pound or two per head per day and gradually increase the amount over a period of one to two weeks. This gives the microbes in the rumen time to adapt. In a moment, I'll explain how to combine these elements for maximum safety and gain. Next up, the third pillar, protein. Protein builds muscle. It's the building block of weight gain. You can feed all the energy in the world, but without enough protein, your cattle won't be able to use it to build a bigger frame. Your high-protein legume haze like alfalfa contribute here, but for a real boost, we look to protein supplements. Things like soybean meal, cottonseed meal, and canola meal are incredibly protein-dense. You only need a small amount to balance a ration. 
Another fantastic option, especially for those looking for value, is distiller's grains. These are a co-product of the ethanol industry. They are high in protein, a good source of energy, and often more affordable than other protein meals. A little bit of this mixed into your feed can make a world of difference, turning a maintenance diet into a growth diet. So we have fiber from hay or silage, energy from grains, and protein from supplements. Now, how do we put it all together? This brings us to the promise I made at the beginning, the one option that could double your weight gain even without a single blade of grass. It's not a single magic feed, it's a strategy. It's called a total mixed ration, or TMR. A TMR is exactly what it sounds like. It's a perfectly balanced recipe where you mix a forage, your grain, your protein supplement, and your minerals all together into one complete feed. Think of it as a nutritional casserole for your cattle. Why is this so powerful? Because cattle are selective eaters. If you put hay in one bunk and grain in another, the dominant bossy cows will eat all the delicious grain, while the more timid ones get stuck with just the hay. The aggressive ones might even eat so much grain they get acidosis. With a TMR, every single bite is the same. Every mouthful contains the perfect ratio of fiber, energy, and protein. The timid cow gets the same balanced nutrition as the boss cow. This eliminates sorting, reduces the risk of digestive upset, and ensures incredibly consistent, predictable growth across the entire herd. You are in complete control of their nutrition. And that is how you can see weight gains that are double what you would get from just feeding hay and a little bit of grain on the side. Now, you might be thinking, I'm a small producer. I don't have a giant TMR mixer wagon. And you don't need one. You can apply the TMR principle on any scale. You can achieve a similar effect by carefully layering the feed in a bunk. Put down a layer of your chopped hay, spread the grain and protein supplement evenly over the top, and then maybe mix it a little with a pitchfork. The goal is to encourage the cow to get a bit of everything in each mouthful. It takes more work, but the results in herd health and weight gain are worth it. Before we finish, let's quickly recap the most important takeaways and common errors to avoid. First, never assume. Test your hay to know what you're working with. Second, go slow. Introduce any new feeds, especially grains, gradually over several weeks. Third, don't forget the basics. The best feed in the world is useless without constant access to clean, fresh water and a quality loose mineral mix designed for cattle. Minerals are the spark plugs of the engine. Without them, nothing works right. Everything we've discussed today, from testing hay to balancing a ration, is about more than just feed. It's about responsible stewardship. It's about being a thinking rancher who uses science and good practice to give your animals the best possible care no matter what the weather does. It's a challenge, but it's one we can all meet and overcome. Here at Biggest Bulls and Cow, we believe we are all part of a community, a community of ranchers, farmers, and cattle enthusiasts who are dedicated to learning and growing together. So if you found value in this discussion today, please do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button to join the Biggest Bulls and Cow family. We have so much more to share with you. And please drop a comment below. Tell us what you're feeding during the dry season. Share a tip that has worked for you or ask a question you're struggling with. We read every single one because your experience helps us all grow. Finally, if you know another rancher, a friend or a neighbor who might be staring at a dry pasture right now, share this video with them. Let's help each other out. Let's build healthier herds and stronger ranches together. Until next time, keep raising them right.